Today I'm gonna to show you how to lo-fi using a stock plugin in FL Studio. Crab Tendo. What's going on guys? So we're talking about Fruity Squeeze and it is a legendary plugin that nobody really talks about. So I wanted to do a video on it and then cover it briefly and show you an example of how you can use it because it is a bit crusher the greater style lo-fi plugin. And it's also one of the few plugins that haven't been updated and I think it's because the GUI was designed by Joel Zimmerman, better known as Mouse. Yes, Mouse did use FL Studio at one time. So let's go ahead and check it out right now. So here it is in the flesh right here. And as you can see, Fruity Squeeze is pretty damn small and it's a historical plugin, but I'm gonna show you how to pull it up or whatnot just in case. And it is a part of your distortion category considering if you set your categories up this way, you know, you can set up different ways, but this is how it would be by default. And you could just pull up fru Fruity Squeeze right here. Boom, and it'll pull up. So I don't need it uh, again. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete it. And you know, here's a uh, free squeeze right here. So it again is a lo-fi plugin. I'm just gonna play the example track here, the example we're gonna use. Hey. And that sample is free by the way, you can download it off my website. Uh, link in the description box. So starting off with the first thing that I want to talk about is this parameter right here, square, uh, square rise. And you'll notice something real quick. You'll notice that it degrades the sample. And this is pretty cool because it is really helpful for getting a SNES that's Super Nintendo Nintendo. Uh, so SNES, but anyways, video game sound. So going with that, it adds a little bit of crush character. Then you have the other features, of course, like preserve, which preserves the sample rate. And, and the reason why it's not working is because you got to mess with like the other knobs here, like amount and apply. So we're going to apply and then we're going to mess with the preserve and then the impact of the relationship of the harmonic and relationship. Now, all this right here is real also uh, related to another feature in your FL studio, which is your audio settings. Uh, I, I set my sample rate up for, for 44.1 kilohertz. So I'm not really worried about doing anything beyond that. It's just that 44.1 is pretty standard. Anyway, so let's go ahead and go here. And now you can hear the degrading of the sample itself. So let's do a before and after here. So I'm gonna go and mess with another parameter called mix. So mix applies that sample, uh, applies that. So right now it is at 50%, so it is parallel. That's parallel to what you hear. So, this, so right now you don't hear anything. And if I apply the mix all the way up, you'll hear the sample being degraded by free squeeze. So it's pretty nifty. Like this is lo-fi, like without just using any third party plugins or anything. Uh, FL has already always been on in this stuff, but we always overlook it because we are just spoiled. But all right, so let's mess with preserve. Now I'm gonna add some of the square rise back into it so we can get more crunchiness to it. As you can see, it, it can get really nasty and that's not where you want to be. Uh, last but not least is the filter section. Now the filter section, of course, you might wanna cut off certain harmonics. Of course, you may not want everything in 
all the higher frequencies because sometimes when you do do lo-fi it becomes a little bit brash now so the idea is just to engage the filter and we're going to engage that and let's hear that now i'm going to turn it off back on now it's not going to be much happening because you got to play with this parameter right here which is frequency then you have resonance right here which is going to give a little bit of something that you may or may not want depends because don't just use this on your samples or your master track like most people will probably do but use this on like drums or something like that now there's also other things like maybe you want to uh, use it on a low pass filter you can use it uh, to filter out your lows as well and go to like a high pass filter or something like that you also have other choices too like bandpass and you can just check out other filter choices here notch yeah it's a real strong pl plugin to be so old You gotta keep in mind how much of a trendsetter like image line was for all the things that they have done as far as their DAW. So last but not least is the pre and, pre and post. So you can do this before uh, these parameters back right here, or you can do it after. So pre meaning before this right here, before square rise and puncher, or after. So let's hear after. It's a huge difference. I'm gonna let this sample ride, because this is a dope sample. <laughs> Especially this part right here. Hey. Hey. So let me know how you feel about this quick tip video. Just let me know if you're going to use Fruity Squeeze for anything because I think it's a pretty good plugin that you don't have to spend any money on if you just have any version of FL Studio. So let me know. 